All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect scattered abroad. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taza Wolf from the GMS New Jersey camp. And uh, this one here this is going to be another lesson in hopes to edify those of the hopeful elect. So I was reading, and um, you know, here in the book of Psalms with King David. And this is a beautiful song, all right, prayer to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, because King David, you know, he surely shows you how to uh, pray, you know, make that relationship with the Most High and Yahweh Shai, all right. Remember, Yahweh Shai said, pray without ceasing, quench not the spirit. So I just want to read this chapter. It's not too long, it's 14 verses, and uh, Lord willing, you're edified. This is uh, Psalms 27 and verse 1. It says, a psalm of David. Now it says, Yahweh is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Yahweh is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? You know, and that's great faith. You know, we're, we're, we're coming into the time that you're going to have to have great faith. Not, O oh, ye of little faith, but great faith. And how do you increase your faith? You have to pray. You have to believe, okay? Also in the equation of faith, you know, you have to study. You have to get the understanding. Once you receive the understanding, then you have a full insurance of faith in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So it says, Yahweh is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though an host shall encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Yeah. Though war shall rise against me, in this will I be confident. So it's about being confident. You know, we're all going to be tested, you know. So knowing the times and having that knowledge and wisdom, it gives you what? The stability the stableness to get through that time. All right, so don't be of, O oh, ye of little faith, be of him that have great faith. All right, so though the host shall encamp against me, what you thinking about, you know, when these devils come in like a flood, you know? Uh, you have documents like Project Megiddo, which is the red list, blue list, yellow list. And uh, in that list, they spoke about uh, certain groups who they would classify to be on a certain uh, list, which is of the red, blue, and yellow. And I believe the red is a uh, kill on sight. And I believe the blue is that they will uh, uh, detain you, come and get you, you know, right after martial law is declared, you know, and, and whatever what they do, they do, whether kill you or cash you into prison. The yellow list, is that they will be uh, re-educated, you know, basically microchipped and put back in society to run the system. So it says in verse 3, though an host shall encamp me, camp, encamp against me. You know, you think about Esau coming down like a, like a madman, as is written in 2nd Edward 16, sparing none. You know, imagine they surrounding your house, you know, you can't do nothing but but have uh, faith in your house by Shem Shai. It says, my heart shall not fear, though war should rise up, shall rise against me, and this will I be confident. It says, one thing have I desired of Yahweh that I will seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord of Yahweh all the days of my life to behold the beauty of Yahweh and to inquire in his temple. It says, for in the time of trouble, he shall hide me from his pavilion in the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me he shall set me up upon a rock all right and that word pavilion just want to give it a quick look up it means the thicket lair co uh, covert covert booth all right a hunt also a lair covert den it says a hunt booth cottage, a tent. It says a uh, use of a tent, 
or a house. So, you know, what scripture come in mind is uh, Psalms 91. All right. Uh, hiding under the seek, uh, hiding under the shadows of the almighty. All right. Roughly paraphrasing. So it says, for in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock. And who's that rock? That's Yahweh Shai. All right. We uh, here of great millstone of the whole four elect. All right. We built our foundation off Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh Shai is that cornerstone, the chief cornerstone, that rock. It says, verse 6, it says, and when, and now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto Yahweh. You know, what comes in mind is when the Lord said in Isaiah, he said that when they, when they come in like a flood, he's going to lift up a standard against them. You know, that's a brother receiving the powers, man, to defend himself and his family you know it says verse 7 hear O Yahweh when I cry with my voice have mercy also upon me and answer me when thou saidest seek ye my face my heart said unto thee thou face Yahweh will I seek what is the face of the Lord the scriptures you know so the Lord is near and nigh and covering his elect you know Giving brothers that comfort it through his word. And by the rest, the two thirds, they're not going to be co uh, co uh, comforted. Okay? They're not going to have a covert, a protection. So, verse 9 Hide not thou face far from me, put not thou servant away in anger. You know, because we all come short of the glory of the Most High. We all have done wickedness, you know, and we hope that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah forgives us. So put not thou servant away in anger. You know, who else is, you say, you know, Lord, who else is uh, out here pushing his worst work in sincerity and truth? You know, have mercy. It says, thou has been my help. Lead me not, leave me not, neither forsake me, O Yahweh, of my salvation. All right. When my father and my mother forsook me, then Yahweh will take me up. All right. And that's true. You know, brothers can contest to that who lot, you know, had what young men may have lived in your parents' house and or not. You know, you might be grown and had your own place. But when you came into this truth, you realize your guardians, your mother, well, let's say your father, then your mother or any guardian, your aunts, cousins, uncles, whoever, you know, they, they what forsook you because you was out there giving your body as a living sacrifice and not being ashamed of Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh Shai. I mean, they despise that. And it says, when my father and mother forsook me, then Yahweh will take me up. All right. Now, I did a little research on this, Psalms 27, a little bit of history to try to get a quick summary on it. And they said that they don't know exactly when uh, King David penned this message, this letter or this prayer, this song. You know, they think it could have been the time he was in trouble, you know, with Saul. It could have been a time where... Uh, uh, where his mother and father had passed, all right, um, and a few other things. I can't think of it right now. But it says, when my father and my mother forsook me, then Yahweh will take me up. Teach me thy way. Now, you can think about with that scripture, you know, when it says that uh, uh, your, your foe shall be there of your own household, you know, with father and son, uh, 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 basically, daughter and daughter, mother and daughter-in-law will be against each other, you know, because you're going to have your family members who they think they doing a good a good cause, you know, a good deed and selling you out, you know. You know, these elites, these soldiers might not know where you at, probably been watching you, you know, through all this uh, shutdown and monitoring you. And then when it's time to come for you, they can't find you. So where do they go? They go to your families. You know, so just keep that in mind. You know, I think of that when I read this. So it says, when my father and my mother forsook me, then Yahweh will take me up. Teach me thy way, O Yahweh, and lead me in thy plain path because of my enemies. Now, we have enemies and we don't have an army, okay, physical army. All we have is our faith. 
All we have is this word that we rely on, which is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And this is why we tell you, you know, it's going to have to be some divine intervention. It's going to have to be some spiritual powers and things that's going to go on. And it's not far-fetched because when you get into the scriptures and the accounts, Yahweh Shai did divine intervention. Okay, Elijah has spiritual powers. Paul has spiritual powers. Yahweh Shai has spiritual powers. All right. You know, it's certain things that uh, men of the earth, the sons of men, okay, and even Israelites, that's not of the elect, they can't understand because it goes against the laws of nature. The, the Most High is above the laws of nature. He designed the elements, okay? You know, I remember years ago, um, uh, Jake was bugging out when uh, Elder Apostle uh, Raka in the street camp in New York, and I remember that video because I watched it a bunch of times. He made mention about how every element has a spirit, you know, and you had a lot of scoffers scoffing at, man. Oh, my God, a car got a spirit? Yeah, it's an element. It's alive. It's not a spirit of a man, but there's a spirit in it. It's alive. The trees are alive. How about the trees? Okay, they grow. How about certain plants? They grow and they, and they move. There's a plant. I can't think of the name of it, but I remember years ago seeing it where it actually eats insects, man. You know, how about that? How about these weird exotic creatures that you can't even find? All right, there's unknown creatures still out here, okay? And everything is not made by Esau. Some things just will just appear. You know, Jake get bugged out. They laugh because we say Bigfoot, Sasquatch is real, you know? And um, you're going to see, man. So teach me thy way, O Yahweh, and lead me in thy plain path because of my enemies, Deliver me not over unto the will of my enemies, for false witnesses are risen up against me, and such as breathe out cruelty. Now, David is speaking of something that happened in the past, but what I'm saying is in this, this uh, what we can get out of this, because these are written for our learning, all right, out of his prayer to the Lord, is that you got to think about us now in the present. You know, uh, scriptures say, uh, the accuser of thy brethren, that's Esau. All right. He's going to accuse brothers and lying because he wants to shut up this word. He wants to shut up the prophets and stop speaking his truth. You know, so Esau is going to have to just blatantly lie. That's why it's important to be blameless, not to be carnal and stacking up guns and, you know, trying to get your aim on and going to the shooting range. All that shit is nonsense, man. You're not blameless. So guess what? You ye that uh, scripture say he that liveth by the sword shall Die by the sword. We're not of the sword, man. That's Esau's blessing. We're of the faith and spirit. So we hope and pray that the Lord, you know, with his angels, put a charge over us to go against our enemies. What's wrong with that? That's faith. You know, how, how could faith be laughed upon, you know, and you still believe that you're an Israelite? That's crazy. That's some crazy shit, man. You know, I'm talking about those of the circumcision. When you speak about faith in these things, certain men... They laugh at that. They think you stupid. And they supposed to be in the faith too. They're teaching that they're Israelites too. You know? That's how you know, man. The Lord is for the elect. So it says, verse 13, I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of Yahweh in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord Yahweh. Be of good courage and he shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say, on Yahweh. On the power. All right. And that's a beautiful ending on this prayer here. Wait on Yahweh. Wait on the power. Be of good courage. It says he and he shall strengthen. We know Yahweh Shah is coming with healing in his wings. He shall strengthen thy heart. What is your heart? Your mind. It says wait. I say on Yahweh. On the power. On Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. Now. I could just end it there, but for myself's sake, I want to, so I can, I want to look up the word courage and just see what it says. To strengthen, prevail, harden, be strong, become strong, be courageous, be firm, uh, grow firm, be, be resolute, be, be sore. To be strong, grow strong, to prevail, prevail upon, to be firm, to be caught fast, be secure. All right. So courage go into what? Being secure. 
Okay, it goes into being strengthened, being heartened. Let your mind be heartened. Okay, heartened for the dumb shit. Okay, heartened to the, the, the weakness of the, the flesh. But being strong, having that strength in the faith. Be courageous, you know. I mean, to be brave. You have to be brave. Uh, to press, to be urgent, right. You know, that's, that's the point, man. To restore to strength. Give strength. Yeah, you might be weak at the moment because you're hearing all the shit that's going on. But then when it actually go down, you, you will be restored to strength, you know, because of your courage, your faith. So that's all I got. Uh, Lord willing, I hope this lesson be edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.